What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again back with the bank of the day, guys. And today we got something in the building. I've been waiting on this one for quite some time. If you guys know SHOT Show, we saw this and I've been waiting on it. And that is the Strybog SP45A3. Now, before we even get into this unboxing overview, I wanna give a huge shout out to Rainier Arms for making this happen. I've been looking for the Strybok 45. It's been hard to come around. These things are flying like hotcakes left and right. And uh, Rainier Arms made it happen. They have plenty of them. So I wanna give a huge shout out to them for helping me get this review out for you guys and girls. Cause I've been waiting to get hands on for you. And now it's possible. The SP45. Roller delayed 45 ACP PCC, man. Better than the UMP in my opinion. Not as nostalgic in the name of HK, I get it. But a roller delayed gun in my opinion is way better, feeling at least, than a direct blowback. And the UMP is that. But this is the UMP at home. It's not better than the UMP as far as historically and namesake, but I'm pretty sure this will be a very pleasant shooter when we actually go out there and put some rounds through it. When it comes to the 45 ACP caliber and then put that along with PCCs, that's probably one of the best things possible. I mean, I love my nines, don't get me wrong, but 45 and a PCC, whew, it hits different, literally. But with that being said, UMPs, they're not really, I mean, the HK got their version, but it, you have to get them Tommy built to make them look right. You got the LWRCI, which they just put the SMG 45, which is now discontinued. That's their version. Chris Vector has their 45 ACP. It's cool, it's nice. But then you have Strybog with the SP 45A3. Now this gun's been around for a minute, but I don't think it's been imported until recently. So it's kind of new over here. With that being said though, we do have it in full effect. It does come in this case right here. The case itself is pretty standard and plain Jane. You know, feel me? It comes with two additional 45 magazines, 45 caliber magazines, YouTube. Picatinny on the back, lock. You got like a little, seem like, a, like a, a washer and a manual. Now, we do have a brace on here, a SP tactical brace. Keep in mind, when you put this brace on, you will not be able to put this now in the case. Because when folded, it's just way more bulkier. We are running the AMG and we're putting a three times, you know, mag on there. It's probably not needed, but why not? I have it laying around. So this is what we're gonna kind of go with when we take it out to the range day. Um, but overall, it's very solid. A very, very solid overall PCC. Now, we got a spec sheet here. I wanna read off some of the specs as always. 45 ACP fires that. Of course, we know that's subsonic. Pair this with a suppressor. It is a threaded barrel, take it off easily. Pair this with a suppressor and it's gonna shoot phenomenally. Now, this is a fixed barrel for what I know and the reason why I mentioned that is because I believe the SMG 45 from LWRCI, that is got the browning barrel or the barrel that moves that you would need like a Nelson on it. That's from what I remember, this is a fixed barrel, so won't need that. We got plenty of 45 caliber, you know, suppressors for that, so that should be fairly nice. But we got that 45 ACP off the rip, which makes this a great PCC, a eight inch barrel. This is a sub pistol delivers enhanced accuracy and extended effective range while maintaining the compact and maneuverability profile with a 0 0.578, 28 thread pattern. So typical 45 thread pitch. AR-15 trigger, that is something that has always been a plus when it comes to the Strybog, is that they take the AR-15 trigger. So if you wanna put a Geisley or whatever you wanna put in there, you can do that because it will accept it. Experience the crisp, responsive trigger pull, reminiscent of an AR-15 platform, providing quick and precise shots at every shooter's crave. So even then, like, yeah, it, it has that wall, it doesn't have no mush on it. Let's, let, let's check out that trigger, by the way. There, you know, no, there's nothing, there's no mush. Well, my bad, there's some mush right there. It's a very light mush. 
Let me take that back. I'm talking too fast. Let me slow down. Crisp though. Crisp reset. Crisp, crisp, crisp. And um, I would check to see which AR-15 triggers are compatible. I said, guys, I don't know 100%, but I do know that it takes a lot of them. And that's what was told to me at the booth, that they take a good amount of different AR-15 triggers. You got ambidextrous controls, so safety on both ends. The bolt release, however, is not there. You have a paddle, so you, you know, the paddle's right here, so you can utilize it on each end. The charging handle could be swapped out, so the charging handle's on the left side, you can put it on this side, so you can swap that charging handle as you please. And as I stated before, three 45 caliber mags, you get three mags out the gate, that's a huge plus just in general, because a lot of times, some guns come with one mag, two at the most. And then, you know, why I love it is it's super compact. This is a backpack gun. This is the same size as a Scorpion that I reviewed, same size as the uh, PMX really that we recently reviewed. Matter of fact, let's, let's just check that out real quick. We got the PMX right here. Now you may have seen this already, may not. I don't know which video is gonna come out first, but both of these are great guns. No knock to either one of them. But is this to show you that this is smaller than the PMX and this is shooting a 45 caliber. So yeah, only thing I don't like is there is no lockup. Now, I don't know if that needs to be tightened. There's a bolt right here, a screw, maybe I can do that, but there is no lockup on this. So I don't really know about that. I'm a little, little confused if that's the case, if I need to tighten something up, but there seems to be no lockup when folded. It just flopper doppers. But besides that, it's extremely lightweight. Feels good in hand overall and tons of uh, M lock. On the sides here, you got Picatinny on the top and bottom, and you could pretty much uh, do as you please with this bad boy. So I'm looking forward to putting her out there and giving you guys a full-on in-depth review, which should be very, very soon. And this is potentially something that could, you know, be a uh, truck gun, something like that of that nature. But this has been something though I've been wanting to show y'all, and uh, we're finally happy to get it in. It's been since SHOT Show the last time we saw it and I'm pretty sure she's gonna shoot phenomenally. Now, this, I may not be able to film me shooting it this week. This may be something that we go in later on into September, later in September, at the you know midway or halfway through, but it will be on the channel soon. Speaking of Rainier Arms, right? We will be at TriggerCon in Wichita, Kansas as well. So pull up on your boy. If you're in Wichita, I will be in the building. And uh, yeah, by then we should have the full on in-depth review of the Strybog SP45. I don't think I need a, I don't think I'm gonna need like a offset mount, but you know, why not? But yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this one down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, anything you would like for me to let you know, feel free to let me know and I'll get this out to you ASAP Rocky. I do notice something weird. There's a front sight post right here. It's ducked in, there's no back post. I guess if you get a, po a, front, a back sight post, you can utilize a front sight post. This is something I saw, it's a little weird. It's like, it needs to be unscrewed out. But yeah, that's all man, I'm talking, I'm talking. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all as always, and I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out, peace.